Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. We're back in Miami, which is why we're back in this setup. How many times have I said back since the video started? Anyways, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that one, I got a pretty legendary sunburn this week. Ah, wear sunscreen, don't do what I did. And two, that I asked you guys if you wanted to see a new Disney haul. I received a bunch of new fun things. We're going to Disney on Friday and I have some stuff from the new fans, Mickey 90th birthday collection, some stuff from Forever 21, some good Etsy ear purchases and even some runway based goods. So if you guys want to see what I'm going to be wearing on our upcoming trip to Disney, just keep on watching. So first things first, earlier this week, uh, while Mickey turned 90, which, you know, happy birthday, man. I like you a lot. Two Vans to Celebrate released a new collection with probably their best Disney collection yet. They've released many in the past. They released, I think, Toy Story, just their first collection. There was even one that was more villain based. This one is all Mickey and Minnie and 80s and goodness. And uh, I picked up some things for me and Peter, starting with this adorable polka dot sweater. It's like a crew neck with the little lace detail around the neck. Very, very mini. I, it was my favorite piece from the collection, I think. Well, it was my favorite piece of the collection because it came with a matching backpack and a matching pair of shoes, which are probably the single most adorable pair of adult sneakers I've ever seen. Do you see these? So hopefully if it cools down, this coming weekend, I will be in Magic Kingdom with my vans and my vans and my vans walking down Main Street having a blast. But of course, I can't be alone in this. I can't be, you know, Minnie without Mickey. So I got Peter covered with his very own Mickey adjacent look. This adorable little red cotton tee in XL. This is the back. And the shoes. Now, Peter, Peter's a, he's a man. He's very much like a Ralph Lauren sort of feller. So if I'm gonna buy him some Disney stuff, gotta be pretty exceptional. And I cannot believe how much he loved these when they came out of the box. How adorable. They were, I mean, doesn't get any more Mickey Disney bound than this. You got the black, the red, the yellow sole, little buttons from his pants in the back. So, I mean, where, where, I keep losing my stuff. I don't think I'm doing so hot with this unboxing so far. Me, <laughs> I can't reach anything. So I can't wait to be in the most magical place on earth this weekend, looking like this. Totally sane, right? Normal Disney loving couple. Anyways, they're super adorable and cute and it doesn't stop there because I'm a maniac. As you guys know, if you've watched my other Disney hauls, uh, I'm a bit of a, a co like collaboration hoarder, especially when Disney does it with brands that I love, like Vans. Therefore, I couldn't just get one outfit for me and Peter. I had to get two. So the collection included a bunch of great 80s pieces, including some like great pastels and neon colors, but I had a soft spot for this rendition of motorcycle riding, badass Minnie and Mickey. How cute is that, the sleeve says off the wall, because you know, Vans off the wall, and Mickey and Minnie. And there they are wearing their perfectos, their leather, their leather jackets, looking sassy. Minnie even has like a, a beauty mark that's not usually there. And uh, <laughs> they might've made some matching shoes and I might've gotten them. Again, kids, it's rare that I get this excited about some Disney stuff, but when I look at Minnie being this sassy, I gotta say, there's a soft spot that just warms up in my heart and I can't help it, I gotta pick it up. So they're the classic slip-on vans, checkered print. They added some flames on there for some extra badassness. And you got Mickey and Minnie. Minnie's got a red lip too on here, like a very prominent red lip, how adorable. And of course, because I got another pair, I kind of looked in the men's section and there was something, I almost wanted these for myself, but I figured two is good enough, but I thought maybe I'd pick them up for Peter, so. I got him a little pair of this Mickey Mouse Club based uh, shoe. So it's the old school in black sort of suede material. It's super, super nice actually. The red leather piping and then in the back you have, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Mickey and the other shoe says Mouse. Come on, focus for me. Fo fo focus for me. There we go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so they're super adorable. Also the tongue includes the traditional Mickey Mouse Club logo, which you know, if you're a fan of the main mouse or Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera or Ryan Gosling, you know how iconic that is. And they're just a really, really nice fall shoe. It's not suede, it's like a nice, I don't know what it, what it is. It's like a woolly material. Anyways, my, my descriptions today are leave a little to be desired, but this is kind of a last minute video and I'm going to go eat after this. So hopefully I'll regain my composure throughout. Not looking good, kids. Finally, from that same Vans collection, the most exciting item of all, little slip-on socks. Uh, these are really great. I wear them all the time in the parks so that they don't show through your Converse, your sneakers, your Vans. Uh, it's great to keep it comfortable. And these, of course, are adorable. You got a little mini pair, little classic sort of Vans checkered print with a Mickey on the toe, and then red and black checkered with some Mickey details. So super, super cute collection. It's selling out quickly, so if you guys want to pick up pieces, I do it well fast. And yeah, enjoy. So now a couple of ears I got on Etsy from, what is it called? 
called Ear Imagination Ears. And let me tell you, when I saw these, I couldn't help myself. I've never owned ears like this, and I thought they'd be a great add-on to the collection. And you know, I could kind of hype beast it up in the parks. In these Mickey Louis Vuitton Supreme Collaboration Silk Ears. They're really, really, really well made. They're really pretty. They've got some little sequin detail under the ear. The bow is nice and fluffy. Honestly, I can only say good things. They're nicely rimmed around too with a nice little ribbon. They're super cute. And I've never had anything kind of like so logo e and brand e. So it should be fun to wear again with, with my reds as you know, Mickey's a fan of the reds. So it shouldn't be too hard to integrate to my usual Disney wardrobe. I also got the Balenciaga logo. Again, the same sort of material silk ears, a fun puffy bow. And this one actually has a little pearl detail under the ears. They're super cute, black and white, easy to wear. They're really, really well made. I really like them. And finally, this pair I think was on sale and I couldn't help it. I have so many great Marie pieces from the Lazio collaboration. And uh, I think this will finally give me the push to go ahead and wear them in the parks this trip. I've never seen such a cute little pair of Marie ears. So the front, as you can see, is sequin with a little silk bow and the back is nice and fluffy as a kitty cat should be. Aristocats is like one of my favorite movies so growing up. That, I, I liked the cats. I liked the Lion King. I liked Aristocats. It's very, I was a big feline lover growing up. <laughs> now before I get to the Forever 21 goodies, which by the way are so cute and fall worthy, there's actually a fun vintage find that I wanted to share with you guys. If you watch the recent fashion month, Gucci's runway show had something very, very special trotting down the runway in the form of a Mickey handbag. There was one that was completely matte black and one that resembled this one very much. But believe it or not, this is a lunchbox from, I want to say, I think it was the 80s. I'm not familiar with the brand as much as others. It's called Aladdin, believe it or not. And they released a ton of these lunchboxes. There was Minnie, there was Mickey. And I believe that this is the reference that Gucci kind of based those bags off of. So when I saw those come down the runway, I knew right away that these would go up in value and in price online so I had to grab one myself how adorable is it it's in pretty good condition a couple little nicks here and there and I wanted to get the Mickey rather than the mini because you know legend whatever he's turning 90 you gotta buy Mickey stuff this year <laughs> and if you open it I even got the thermos that it came with originally it's actually in super great shape I don't think it was ever used because it doesn't really smell like food and I think it's gonna be a very cute park bag it's a little annoying that it doesn't have like a crossbody strap, but I mean, I think I'm sure I could tinker something together and it'll look great, you know, with uh, the pieces I'm about to show you next. So sort of, <laughs> I saved myself a couple dollars uh, and I got this a lot sooner than Gucci was gonna release it. So I'm super excited and it's really adorable. There's a ton online if you guys wanna get your hands on them, but I do it quickly because as I said, they tend to go up in price. And for the final part, sorry. I was drinking out of my matching Minnie Mouse cup. Uh, <laughs> for the final part of this unboxing or haul actually, I wanted to share with you the new, well, it's not so new anymore, but Forever 21 released a collection, again, honoring Mickey Mouse and his 90th birthday. And oh my God, were the pieces adorable and so great for fall. And unfortunately, it's still very, very hot here in Florida. So I'm not sure how many of these I'll get to wear right now, but I know we'll be going back for Christmas. So they'll definitely make an appearance then, including this very fancy beret. Uh -huh. I'm French, so I can make a weird French accent, right? Anyways, it's super, super cute. A little Mickey detail here. I don't know if you guys have seen, but people are really enjoying berets these days. Uh, kind of the funnest novel novelty piece. This one doesn't have my favorite. Oh, does it? There it is. My little nubbin on the top. So yeah, it looks super French and got tags on it still. I should probably take those off. Next up, you guys know that I love me some socks, so I couldn't uh, check out without adding these to my cart. You got a little pair of Mickey stripies, Donald stripies. They're good length too. I don't Honestly, I don't have socks. I don't know what happened to me. I don't own socks. So now whenever I have the opportunity of buying adorable ones, I jump on it. Pluto stripies. And also this fun Mickey checkered pair. Perfect for Christmas. Christmas again. Very great Canadiana print with a little bit of Mickey love, which I really enjoy. Now, in my most recent video, I talked to you guys about how much I was looking forward to wearing plaid and tartan print this fall. And Disney parks will not be an exception because now I have these bad boys. Uh, there's a little Mickey on there. Just one tiny patch. It's such a great color story. I find red in the parks is so easy to wear. There are so many fun accessories to pair things with. And in the fall and Christmas season, it's extra festive. So I really love these. They have a great belt loop, a little pocket in the back, good length. They kind of taper off at the bottom. So, and they actually look really comfy. I haven't tried them on yet. I probably should. I hope it gets cold. Don't say that out loud. So I can wear these this weekend. Another pair of pants for you guys, a red denim with a little stamp on top. That's right, there's a little Mickey print pant. I thought they were super cute. They look really comfy as well for the parks. I love red denim. As I said, red is kind of my staple color when I go visit the parks or in my everyday life, really. Can we talk about the tags too? Forever 21, you've outdone yourself. Super cute and they, they go nice and high-waisted. So if you're gonna wear a little bit more of a cropped top, you still got that Mickey that Mickey vibe without necessarily just putting on a stamp t-shirt. Like a subdued, not so subdued Disney touch. Not subdued at all. It's Mickey print pant, come on. 
Next up, something that looks very vintage inspired. I tried to keep them all nicely folded to put them in my bag. Guess that was for nothing. <laughs> this adorable Disney character vet, a vest, blouse. It's just a nice sort of cotton, it's probably not cotton, but it feels good. A uh, white blouse, which is so easy and one of my favorite things to wear. But on the buttons, instead of buttons anyways, you have some little Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Pluto patches all the way down. So many fun new 80s inspired pieces are coming out recently and this Disney piece is no exception. I love it, I can't wait to wear it. Probably with like a high-waisted black jean. You know, keep the focus on these guys. They are the stars after all. Now, another item I kind of got multiple of. Similar to the socks, you have this adorable Mickey cropped striped polo. Hello. He looks angry. I love it when Mickey's sassy. Black collar, super cute. And then uh, I'm feeling more vertical than horizontal. I have this super cute Pluto one. This one was my original favorite just because I love the colors so much. This will probably be easier to wear for me because wear a lot of red, wear a lot of black. But this blue, red, and white number is so cute. And you know, I love showing Pluto a little love. He doesn't get enough, I find. So next up in the cozier department, um, I couldn't help myself. I love myself a cozy Disney moment. It does get really, really chilly in the winter months when you get closer to December to February. So, you know, I wanted to be prepared, <laughs> including this adorable, sassy little Minnie Mouse jumper. I thought this would look great with the plaid pants I showed you guys earlier. She looks so cute. I love this iteration of her with the lashes and the pose and all the sass. Super cute. And then in a, a bit of a bigger cable knit, we have this mustard colored, super 70s. I love these throwbacks. It looks very collegiate as well. And you have just a happy little Mickey. I love this mustard color. It is super 70s, super cute. It's a bit of a turtleneck vibe, which, you know, I live for those moments. They rarely occur because I feel like I'm getting choked, but for this, I'll make an exception. You know, he looks smiley, he looks happy. Cute rendition, great for fall. Great for fall is kind of the theme here. And then, I don't know, talking about Gucci previously, I don't know if you guys were aware that they actually released a bunch of Donald pieces a few years back, like one or two, in their men collection, men's collection, and I never really bit the bullet and purchased one myself because let's face it, Gucci's a little pricey, but I was so happy when I saw this sweater in particular because Forever 21 brought it out and gave me all of those Gucci vibes with none of that Gucci price. Fun, again, striped. Mama loves me a stripe. I love me a stripe. What can I say? Blue and red and the same sort of uh, iteration or style as all the other characters from the other pieces that I showed you guys. He looks so happy and cute. And I'm not sure if Peter's uh, going to get this because I love it so much. But originally I had gotten this guy for him from Forever 21's men's line. This nautical, adorable, kind of angry looking Donald. I want it with white pants. No, it looks so cozy. If you're like lazy after a day in the parks, so you're just going to dinner in Epcot. Don't you want to just throw this on? Super easy to wear and super cozy. I'm either gonna be sweating super profusely or not wearing these this weekend. One or the other, depends how uh, committed I am. Anyways guys, that's a wrap, that's it. These are all of the amazing pieces I picked up for our most recent Disney trip. I have a problem, I know. Don't let me know in the comment box below, but do let me know if you wanna see more videos like me. I love that you guys love when I do Disney related videos on the channel and I do as well. So if you have any fun ideas, please let me know in the comment box below. Also, if you wanna see more hauls like it, give it a big thumbs up so I know, you know, to do more. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the park soon. Bye.